Hello again, folks. So what I got here is a little project box. Of course, I'm going to put it in a little project. The project is going to be uh, just a, a a little uh, just a little test jig that I can test oscillators, uh, can type oscillators. So I'm going to just have a socket here. And a couple of these banana jacks to apply some power. And then I'm going to put in a BNC connector here to get the output and put it into a scope. Now, right now, um, the only BNC connectors that I have are the male connectors, but I do have some females coming. They're uh, essentially hooked up the same way. So what I can do is when the when the male connectors come by, I can just uh, pull this out, put the male connector in. There's only one one solder joint to do. They have the same little tab on them that can remain in there. And uh, yeah, so that'll be in there like that. In the meantime, I can just use a a barrel connector to connect between uh, this and a cable. And uh, so that's it. So I'm gonna I'm gonna lay this out. Yeah, and drill some holes. The, the, the way the socket's going to go in, I'm just going to drill a, a, a bunch of holes in two lines down here, put the socket right on top of the plastic and cement it in place and solder the leads to the bottom uh, to make the connections. So uh, I, I'm going to do that and then we'll come right back. Yeah. Well, I've got it all laid out. I've got the components put in place. I still have to cement this in and uh, do the final assembly on everything. Um, the the astute among you will notice that the the size of the box has changed. So I have, I have tons of these boxes. I only had only one of these little boxes. I thought it would be better this little box, but yeah, this is much more brittle plastic, and uh, yeah, it, it didn't like the uh, it didn't like the bigger drill going into it. So that's a shame. Anyway. Uh, I'm going to get this cemented down. When the cement cures, I'll, I'll be back to wire it up and then we'll give it a, a little test. Okay, we're back. We've got it all wired up. And I put a, a 1 UF capacitor across here and a 0.1 across the VCC to ground. And yeah, it's all ready to be checked. I can put a little bit of little mark there, pin 1. And I just got a barrel connector in here right now to make this a female. So. Let's uh, let's get brave and snap it in place. Hook up the scope. Now I've got uh, crystals I have here to test are all five volt, so I've got the power supply set up for five volts at a maximum of fifty milliamps. That should be enough for any of these oscillators. Oh, and uh, see standard width here, so. <laughs> I don't know if that'll ever be important to me, but there we go. We got it anyway. And let's try the 16 megahertz crystal here. And power on. Scope on. Ooh, we're getting a real Real healthy output out of that oscillator. That's pretty good. So yeah, one, two, three, four, and four and three quarter volts peak to peak. That's nice. So power off, and we'll try this one here. This one is a one point eight four three two zero megahertz. And power on. There we go. Nice rising edge on that one, eh? Uh, yeah, that's about uh, three nanoseconds rise time on that. That's a good oscillator. Two good oscillators. Now, power off. I got one here. That I know ain't so good. And uh, we'll put that within, see what a, a not so good oscillator looks like. 
This one's supposed to be uh, 5.0 5 688 megahertz. I don't even know why I got those. I guess they were cheap. And uh, we're going to find out why. There we go. So this has got barely one volt peak to peak output. And the bottom is kind of soggy on it. And the, the top's okay. But uh, yeah, I, yeah, I can't even use this for, for any digital circuitry at all. It won't drive CMOS or TTL or anything. It's basically a, a dead oscillator. Um, so, yep. Yeah. Now, I want to show you why I came up with the idea of this. I got this, this um, nice looking little TCXO um, just recently and uh, it's 24 megahertz. I was going to use it uh, as, a, as a better time base for my signal generator. My, it's a JD, JDS 6600. Anyway, it takes a 24 megahertz crystal and I got this to be a little bit better. Now this here, this here is 3.3 .3 volts. So I've got to change that on the power supply. Let me change that. Uh, 3.3 .3 volts. And uh, we're going to power it on now. As you can see on the scope, it's absolutely nothing. The thing is drawing 20 milliamps and it's not doing anything. And uh, I think the reason is is because uh, I screwed up. I was testing it out. It, it's this particular one is pretty good. Um, I was testing it out and I was going to adjust it, and I had hooked it up with alligator clips, and uh, I moved something on the on the the desk here on the workbench, and the clips shorted out. So the, the, the output clip shorted out to the case, and I think that's what destroyed it. So I thought to myself, well, you know, I hate pulling out breadboards and wires and all this sort of stuff and hooking stuff up. I need something I can just grab and, and test my crystals with without risking them. And um, this is the idea I came up with. So yeah, it's, it's, I think it's going to be handy. I'll use it. Um, I'm always putting crystals into some darn thing, and I remember the time that this particular crystal caused me a lot of trouble. I assumed, you know, I, I think I got a, a package of about 10 of these or something like that. And I, I assumed it was brand new, it was sold to me as brand new, and it was good. Um, but uh, yeah, it, it took me about 10 or 15 minutes to figure out it was the oscillator that was dead. And it would have been handy to have something like this to test it. And that's why I test them now before I try to use them. And that's what ended up happening to this. I tested it in a stupid manner. And ended up destroying it. Now I've got something I can test them and uh, not destroy them. All right, thanks guys. Uh, leave a like, uh, leave a comment, and subscribe if you have any value out of this at all. I'd really appreciate it. Thank you, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye bye.